All right, guys, today on D-Bear Basics, we are going to change a light. Shouldn't be too bad. Pretty easy process. We'll uh, get through it. All right, guys, we're going to be replacing that light. Now, best way to uh, make sure the power's not on to it, in my opinion, is just to go ahead and turn it on and then flip breakers until it turns off. All right, second try, not too bad. All right, so now we're up here. So even though I turned this off and I know the breaker is off, I'm still gonna be careful. Um, again, tools for this are gonna be the tester, just in case I need it. Uh, a drill this time, because uh, I find it just a lot easier when I'm working up here. I still have my screwdriver, just in case I need it for something. And then I also have the needle nose pliers again. So we're gonna take this old light down. Now, a lot of times on these older lights, when they've got this little nipple here, it's usually a screw. We can get this part off. I always like to make sure I got a hand on everything still. Take the glass down. And now you'll be able to see the light bulbs and everything else and how it connects to the junction box that's above this so so that bulbs are a little hot sometimes wearing gloves helps too we'll take these out we'll reuse them because they're actually pretty good bulbs kind of surprised judging by how old that light picture was all right so um i guess i'll grab you guys real quick here and show you this so nothing too crazy um, just two Phillips head screws in here. Honestly, I could probably spin this and just pull this out, but I'm going to probably just go ahead and take the screws out because I'm most likely not going to reuse them. So, there you guys go. Back there, nice and safe. All right. Now let's give it a shot. Okay. There we go. Gross. All right. So while this is exposed, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my tester again, just to double check. Like I said, I've been zapped too many times and I just don't like it. Okay, so we're looking good. Take the stuff down. We got two wire nuts in here. I'll probably replace the wire nuts as well. Just gonna leave it probably really no good. All right, we've got a black wire here there's our power and then the brown wire there's no ground okay we're gonna go ahead and take these out goodness gracious that one's really looped on there okay take that out And we're gonna go ahead and grab our new light and just get this bad boy up there. Yep. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and replace this now. So this is the light we're putting up. Um, it's one of the LED ones. What's nice about these is this like cover just kind of unscrews. So sometimes it might need two hands to do this, but I want to try and show you guys. So just move it counterclockwise until it stops right out. So we're going to put that to the side for now. So this is what we're going to be dealing with. It doesn't look like it came with screws because, you know, why not? So we're going to go ahead and probably reuse the screws that are here. They're pretty good shape. They're flathead, which kind of sucks, but we can make that work. Wait, that's why we got the screwdriver. All right, power's still off. Let's rock and roll. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and place this light here. We've got two wire nuts. The ground wire we're going to attach to one of the existing screws up there to ground it. And we'll be good to go. This is always the fun part. So I really got to do like, nice if we had three hands. That would make jobs like this a whole heck a lot 
easier. Right. See two wires here, power in, power out. It's kind of hard for you guys to see, I know, but basically I'm just going to be taking the wires, connecting them with the wire nut. Nothing super out of the ordinary there. The only thing that's unfortunate is trying to do all this with one hand or two hands. Ah, there it goes. All right. You guys get to watch me struggle with this for a good minute or so. It's a lot easier if you have a second person with you to kind of hold it. But unfortunately, I don't have that. Might need some help. There we go. In light of not having a third arm, your chin apparently can act as a pretty good little grip. Come on, baby. Oh, I think that's it. All right. Now we get to do it again. Yeah. I'm like too short for this, but also too tall to go one more step to really have a good hold on all of this. Uh, again, sorry, I know this isn't the best view for you guys, but I gotta get it on there. Woo! God, it's hot up here. All right. Alrighty, so that's on there. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and just connect the ground here. Alright. Alright, throw it up here. Oh, that's kinda nice. The wires go really nice back in there. Okay. Okay, just gotta follow it up in there. Get these screws lined up. Oh, come on. Don't do me like that. to think these screws won't line up with our new light. Uh-oh, spaghettios. That could be bad. That could be unfortunate. Now maybe we should see if this thing works first real quick. So I'm turn off this light. Well, good news, it works. Sweet. Now we just gotta get it up there. Oh, nothing's easy, folks. Nothing is easy. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna get one of these lines here to work out for me. Okay, I'm going to finagle it a little bit and then one of the screws here, not both of them though, that's no good. 
so we're gonna have to do a little bit of creative play here. Okay. So I'm gonna try and show you guys what I'm working with here. So the one screw, sorry, I'm just finding it. The one screw back here is in right here. Sorry, right here. I know it's really hard for you guys to see. But this other screw right here, it's a little low, so I gotta get it on there and then slide it in. So I'm not gonna necessarily show you guys that part. It's just gonna be me loosening the screw and getting it where it needs to be. back a little bit and take this off. You know, I thought we were. Of course, now things on there. <laughs> Ain't that how it goes. Okay, well, we'll loosen that a little bit then. Well, that's fun now it's just jammed on there oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy crazy how tough it was to get to stay up there now it's now it's its new home Try and head it out that ambulance going by. Not that you guys are really seeing anything crazy anyway. But we finally got it in there. Screws on the right way now. Thank God. And now, we just tighten it all up. Get that all back on. Now, of course, my hands are all sweaty and dirty now. So, definitely going to have to. Okay level on all sides all right so now we just got to get this bad boy back on here and like I said before it's these new lights are so easy why do I say things like that that's how I get in trouble you should just you have to screw them on see folks why do I say stuff because this is how I get myself in trouble all the time Okay, let's make sure it works again real quick. And let there be light. All right, super. 
Now, I wonder if this is one of those LED lights that changes colors. Nope. Well, and now it's up there. It's good to go. Now we've got a kitchen light.